Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about various losses encountered in the measurement of radar range or any type of parameter, so known as system losses. System losses. System losses are nothing but radar system losses. So, the losses in the radar system are known as system losses. I indicated by LS system losses several losses are there lot of losses are present over the radar system some may be within the radar system or some may be outside of the radar system so all these radar systems are comprising uh, radar system losses are comprisingly indicated by LS now let us see I will state the different uh, types of radar system losses here uh, let us uh, see one by one. I will explain few of them in this video and uh, remaining I will explain in the next video. The various losses encountered in the radar system measurements are microwave plumbing losses. By seeing the name itself, we can understand few losses here. Microwave plumbing losses which can be classified into transmission line loss and duplexer loss. Antenna loss. Antenna losses are nothing but beam shape loss, scanning loss, radome loss and phased array antenna losses. And along with these two, few other uh, losses are also there. Signal processing loss. When the signal is being processed from one side to another side of a microwave uh, transmission line, so signal processing loss may occur and collapsing loss. Collapsing loss is nothing but edit to noise is added with the signal to noise ratio. So that is nothing but collapse to collapsing loss indicated by LC. And propagation loss. Propagation loss is nothing but when the signal is being propagated from one place to another place due to Earth's atmospheric pressure, Earth's ducts, all these problems cause to propagation loss. And the last one is operator loss. Operator loss is nothing but suppose if the operator is continuously working keep on working from morning to evening due to his tiredness he may not working properly. So because of this because of his problem he may miss some information so that is known as operator loss. Okay now let us see the first one microwave plumbing loss microwave plumbing loss. So what do you mean by plumbing? Plumbing is nothing but joining two microwave wave guides. Joining two microwave wave guides. Suppose when the signal is transmitted into the free space, the electromagnetic signal is transmitted into the free space as, in the, as the waveform is a free, a traveling in the free space though there is no transmission line. Air is the transmission line. But when the signal enters into the radar system receiver, the signal has to transmit individual blocks. Suppose, uh, first the received signal, this is the antenna, it goes through the RF amplifier, low noise RF amplifier. The output of this one is given to mixer. If you go to the block diagram, you can find uh, what I am explaining here. Mixer coming from local oscillator, the output of this mixer is given to IF amplifier and IF amplifier output is given to second detector after this VD amplifier after this VD amplifier threshold decision after this output display units like a PPA display or a scope display now the signal has to travel through these many blocks all these blocks are nothing but individual microwave bench setups individual microwave components you can also call them as individual microwave components so all these components are joined one after another okay there definitely occurs this problem plumbing loss when the signal is traveling from one waveguide to another waveguide if coupling is not done properly definitely there may be a loss of the signal from one waveguide to another waveguide that type of loss is nothing but a plumbing loss so that may be occurred in the transmission line or it may be in the duplexer duplexer is nothing but which is occurred which is connected between trans uh, transmitter and receiver this is the transmitting section this entire thing is nothing but receiving section uh, to separate the transmitting and receiving uh, signals we are using a duplexer device just in front of the antenna 
so because of this duplexer you with this type of problem may occur or due to the entire transmission line what i have explained now okay these are the different uh, plumbing losses generally encounter in the radar systems now let us see the typical plumbing losses associated with s band radar operating at 3 gigahertz or now i am giving a table where the radar system is operating at S band like S band. What do you mean by S band? Already I told you the letter band designations. Letter band designations are L S C X L S C X K U K K A. Like this, we have different bands. L band is associated with a frequency of 1 to 2 gigahertz. S band is from 2 to 4 gigahertz, C band 4 to 8 gigahertz, like this we have different classification of frequency bands known as letter band designations. In these letter band designations, we have taken a radar system which is operating in this S band, so 3 gigahertz, 3 gigahertz comes under S band, so S band radar we has taken and for this what are the different losses with, with this uh, microwave plumbing losses he has given that. Uh, table like this aluminium waveguide if uh, waveguides can be made up of a pure uh, conducting material pure conducting metals like gold aluminium copper so generally aluminium waveguides are generally preferred so aluminium waveguide joint loss may be one decibels and duplexer and other devices has a loss of two, deci two decibels rotary joints suppose if we are using any uh, rotational joints nothing but uh, what is that circular waveguides instead of uh, rectangular there are two types of waveguides are there rectangular waveguides and circular waveguides suppose a circular waveguide means definitely um, rotary mechanism should be there so rotational at this type of rotational joints we have 0 0.8 decibels loss and connectors and bends connectors and bends then we have 0 0.3 decibels and RF devices, low noise RF amplifiers, any sources RF devices, we have 0 0.8 decibels. So the entire total plumbing loss for this is 4.5 decibels. So approximately at a 3 gigahertz radar system, if it is operating at a S band at 3 gigahertz, it is having a microwave plumbing loss of 4.5 decibels. The signal may be lost. Okay. So these are the microwave plumbing losses. What are the second loss? Uh, another one is beam shape loss coming to antenna losses. Coming to antenna losses. Among these antenna losses, we have this uh, beam shape loss, scanning loss, radon loss and phased array antenna losses. These are the four different losses that comes under antenna losses. Let us see the first one is beam shape loss. What do you mean by beam shape loss? Why it is, why we have to discuss that beam shape loss also? See this beam shape. What is the shape of a beam? A lobe. A lobe like this. I told you already this type of uh, problem in the last uh, video. See, when we are transmitting a signal like this, the waveform is traveled into the free space in the form of a lobe. In the form of a lobe. That means in the formula of Maxwell radar range equation, we are taking PTG sigma AE by something. So PTG, G here stands for gain of gain of the signal or gain of the antenna. Gain of the transmitting antenna GT. Suppose if it is belonging to transmitting antenna, gain of transmitting antenna GT. The gain of transmitting antenna is maximum at this particular point. Is maximum at this point. Suppose if the signal, if the radar uh, target touches at this particular point the gain is less compared to this point and here also the gain is less compared to this point so uh, but in the calculation of r max we are always concentrating on the gain value which is at this peak value but peak value may not touch the target always because of the scanning okay what we are doing we are continuously monitoring for the targets the scanning for the targets so uh, the pulses, the received echo pulses are due to the touching of a signal uh, may be here, such, uh, touching of the target may be here or may be here, here somewhere around here which is marked here. All these are different pulses generated at different different locations of the target echo signals. 
So, because of this beam shape, definitely there may be a loss in the radar maximum range equation. Okay, so as we have considered mag maximum gain, which is not same for entire shape of the lobe the shape of the lobe okay so because of this particular point the gain is varying depending upon the different positions of this beam shape okay now so beam shape itself is the beam shape itself is the loss for this problem Okay, we cannot change this one. We cannot change this one. We can study, but we cannot change because the shape of the beam we cannot vary. Okay. Now, coming to the second loss, that is scanning loss. Scanning loss. What do you mean by scanning loss? I told you already, uh, suppose you know, for our radar system, the target may not be always in the presence. So, it may present or may not present, but, uh, but we cannot take the rest for the radar system we have to uh, keep the radar system always in working so that that's why always scanning is required scanning is nothing but searching for the targets scanning is nothing but searching for targets so always the radar system has to be in work to search the target whenever the target is occurred immediately we will take the necessary action so, in this particular problem, what is the different losses we can encounter here? So, the variation of antenna gain results in the scanning loss. The scanning loss results in long range scanning radars such as space surveillance and ballistic defense. So, generally, I told you already the same problem what I have discussed in the previous case. Uh, when we are scanning with this particular shape, okay. If this particular point touches this target, this is the target. Let us consider this is the target. If this particular point touches this target, then there is no problem because we will get maximum echo, whatever we get in terms of maximum gain. But when this antenna is in rotation and this target touches at this particular point or at this particular point, definitely there will be a change in the resultant echo signal gain okay so so that's why as the scanning as the radar antenna is continuously in the monitoring of the objects so definitely there will be a change in the resultant echo signal strength because of this scanning okay and the next one is third type of loss in the antenna loss is radom loss radom loss what do you mean by radom what do you mean by radom radom is nothing but a protection cover radom is nothing but a protection cover protection shield for radar antenna in aircrafts in aircrafts or in any place wherever you want to establish a radar system okay generally in aircraft we are using a mouth part in the aircraft the nose part the nose part is nothing but it is a shield or a radar which has a radar system in it see this is the aeroplane and in this particular mouth part uh, in this particular mouth part see this is the mouth or nose part you can call it as nose part in this nose part if you open this nose then you will be having a radar system this is the radar system what is the purpose of this radar system this radar system in the aeroplane aeroplane it always in communication with the atc automatic traffic control in the at the ground station okay if the yet if the platform is free whether the platform is free or not whether the aircraft can land or not that communication can be done through this radar system only with this half uh, ground station okay so this radar system has to be de definitely established in a aeroplane now 
in order to protect this radar system from heavy winds or uh, uh, any birds whatever when we, when this plane is in uh, air definitely it has to be protected because you cannot leave it as it is so this type of protection we call it as radon okay so what is the loss because of this radon what kind of loss we will be having because of this radon because Radom is a protection cover which covers completely the radar system. So when the signal is transmitting through this radom, definitely some part of the signal may be lost. Okay, suppose I am transmitting 100 decibels here. After transmission of through this, because the signal has to penetrate through this radom and comes out. Because it is completely closed. Okay, the signal has to penetrate and come transmit. The signal has to be transmitted through this uh, radom. It has to come out from this radom. So when it is coming out, definitely it will there will be a loss in the signal. So maybe 98 decibels because two decibels may be lost because of this radom protection cover. Okay, so more clearly you can also visualize like this. Uh, it is the radar system here, and this is the protection cover and but radom. Okay, so some part of the signal may be lost because of the transmission of signal from radar system to the through this radon. Coming to the last one is phased array antennas. What do you mean by phased array antennas? Phased array antennas are nothing but group of antennas. Phased array is nothing but group. Group of antennas group of antennas to collect and transmit the to receive or transmit the signals what is the main purpose of phased array antenna suppose if the target in the continuous monitoring purpose the radar antenna has to rotate continuously or tracking suppose one object is there if this is our radar system okay uh, this object is keep on going like this and our purpose is to track this object so what we need to do we need to continuously monitor this target so it has to continuously rotate the plate has to continuously rotate from here to here until the target has been found okay but always rotation of this antenna plate needs some mechanical energy which is having some additional source so in order to avoid that additional mechanical sources we are using phased array antennas which are having group of antennas like this all these are connected with phase differences all these are connected with different phase difference of phases so because of this one the signal can be oriented without changing the direction of antenna the signal can be transmitted in this direction or it can be transmitted in this direction or it can be transmitted in this direction depending upon the phase difference between the successive elements of the transmitting antennas and at the same time the signal can also be received in any direction because of these phases okay so this is the concept of phased array antennas so the phased array antennas also has some type of problem that is additional transmission losses observed in phased array radars because of distributed network used for connecting receiver and transmitter to multiple elements of array so what happens here we are transmitting number of we are using number of elements distributed elements so the loss is due to the loss is due to distributed elements we are using number of distributed elements so this loss is because of distributed elements what about the result these losses these losses will reduce will reduce the antenna gain will reduce the antenna gain that is the problem with this phased array antennas so remaining losses i will explain in the next video thank you